And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. Ain't no way they're arguing still about this. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, Beach. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets, too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to it. Fine. Go off in a huff. I'm, I'm through talking anyway. In a way, they're going to come outside. Okay. Oh, what do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors, stirring the pot. You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said. Look, 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 look. I just want to let you guys know. You know? Uh, uh, get to know the hero, yeah, Sean. So when I get irritated, right, I have this thing. Like, I mean, I could like cringe or something, but when I get just like irritated, you'll see. Just I have this little trick I can do. Just move one nostril. Like, it's weird. I know it's weird. Try doing it. You say you can't. Keep practicing. Yeah, if I get irritated. You'll see this move. You you know I'm just like, mm, you know, people. It happens. Life. Continue. Said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. I can't stop. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? B, who's at the door? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? Oh my gosh, bro. It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. D didn't you already talk? Bruh. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. Mm. Don't think we can talk him. about living in the past. My back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. A secret passage, bro? Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't this have man's to about to break here. something. Money and can, I, can I run? I or... Yep, I can. We'll finish this later. Hold on, hold on, I'm not done looking, I'm not done looking. Fine. This rose. Talk, we'll talk. Uh huh. Okay, I guess you guys are done. Oh, I can just. Oh. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say. I don't understand. Place? It looks, uh. Expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you doing this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. 
What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? Hey. What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that crooked bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Uh, let me just step. Uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to Can the we finish right this conversation now, so first. I should get that. We'll get come back on. to you as soon as <laughs> humanly possible. Beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Because next time, I'm making a house call. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Just uh, say it. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Are Man's they... behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. I kind of don't. I mean, it's like I do somewhere in my head, but I really don't. But I know there's a difference. But what is that difference? I'll find out. <clears throat> You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money... You don't have... Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop? The cut above. It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. 
You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? Right. I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. Mary. I don't want beauty to have to work. Especially Can't not quit. she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Young love, young love. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Uh, no. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Ain't no way I gotta choose. Uh... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. You know that butcher The Lucky Pond. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. I'm crooked man the could be. Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. The crooked man could be there. So we're gonna find out. I don't want to go somewhere where there's no action. I mean, it could be, could be, but if literally what's causing everything that's around here trouble is at this place could be cool to find him there could be cool i'll have a word or two with jersey you know bigby once you show your face there word is going to get out there may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after well i guess i'll find out wait I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? I'm confused. Isn't that what we're doing? What, what I'm doing? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? <gasps> no. Of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the crooked man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm going to do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. It's not a hero idea. Will I kill him? Probably not, but pro who knows? Who knows? It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Tech, why are you... I'll see you <laughs> take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? Whoa. Big B's here. Oh. You can't see me? a surprise. Sheriff. Come back later, Toad. I have stuff to do. Wait, wait, wait. Another second, all right? I'm just trying to do a bit of business. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. 
Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. The witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard. Your materials are rare. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not going to take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running? Mm, phrase. You people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. Shut up. I know who you're talking about. Um, Ogfrey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Okay. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options. Now. Give Toad money. I feel like we need that money. It's just tough. Is all. Ah! Look, I'll, <laughs> I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... Uh, I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. I, if you're going to be out I like tried this, to give him money. Can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. No, you're not Drop by taking the... Look, I'm sorry, all right? What else do you want from me? He really grows on you. I almost touched my nose. Look, I told you I work here, and I do, okay? So don't look so surprised. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because I'm not a mind reader. And unless it's bar trivia, I don't think I can help much anyway. Where's the manager? Why isn't he here? Maybe I'm the manager. You ever think of that? I know That's you nasty. are. So where what is everything about? I don't know. I don't keep tabs on him. He's probably out getting shit-faced and eating cows right now. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Uh, can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh... I'd really rather you not mm, physically... I'm gonna look around, I'm gonna look around. Back, you know? I wanna check stuff out here first. This is a crooked man place. Maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... up. Nah. The Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm going to take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Hmm. Suspicious. 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 I don't know. Let's check out the first item. Uh. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? Mm, no, sir. Darts. 
Last time I saw those darts, didn't some? This reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, Get are you? Get back, Jack. Oh, okay. Jack. Shout out to the homie Jack. Yeah. Hmm. Big B, it's just a fish, bro. I've never seen you stare something at that heart. Mm. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh. <laughs> Jack? Uh, yeah? When was Mary here? Was. Who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. And she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about... You know that. something. No, really. I mean, I don't work every day. So... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try I have to, to tell... You know, press him a little. Press him a little. What happened to the axe? There was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No, I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. You know where she lives? Where she took it? I don't know where that crazy chick lives. And I don't want to know. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part time. can. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you, you're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Gren said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is are you... his axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Bro, don't touch me. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You work with the crooked man. Until I give you permission, you're not going to do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a sting, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for Wayward Fucking Creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer been chasing him for fucking days. Right with the what? Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers... And Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> You piece of shit. Okay. I'm restraining Jersey. Rip your fucking lungs out. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery Fucking Park? Just so I can prove to you that your axe is in here. Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Why should Mary get all the fun? You bro, he's old tough. geezer, bro. If you don't. You know what? I'm just going to handle you myself. Nah. 
I'm pressing him. I'm not gonna kill him. One more, one more time. Oh, yeah. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. There's the axe. Bro, get the axe. Psych. I thought I messed up. Okay. Yeah, get you, get you, get you. Dang. Hold on, I don't want to kill him. One more time. You got, you almost had it. Almost had it. Psych. Punch him. Yes, sir. Punch him again. I'm not trying to get killed. I'm not trying to get... Almost thought I clicked the wrong one. Ah, ah, ah. Nope. Just rip it off, bro. Not stab him with it. He's still alive. He's still alive. I, I... I gotta see the when the in this fight when fitted. Not my arm. Oh, he's gotta die, bro. Nope. He thought. Oh shoot. Get him, bro. How'd you get knocked out, bro? Uh uh uh. Maybe I shouldn't have done the anvil. He's still... Nah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Look at him smiling. So, wanna try okay, again? okay, okay. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address. No place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around, never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact Facts. Oh, I know. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taking so the Tweedles. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No Fucking friends. Where did you hear it got broken? Oh, that. <laughs> Gossip said, oh, fast. that. <laughs> We're like a sewing circle. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. So I should have. That's where all the. Ain't no way. Oh, let's say. say. Now leave me, so I can find some aspirin. Oh, oh. He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me. I'll come back here and finish the job. <laughs> You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Got it. 
Eight. Hey, Sheriff. Don't you dare do something. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. It's gonna give me the option. Yep. Hear him out. But I do know this. Hear him out. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. That's creepy. Out of smoke? If you don't give him one, stop being rude. He helped you out. He's a hero. I, I guess. He can be a hero. Thanks. Shitty brand. Okay. You're welcome. Don't smoke. It's bad for you. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. gonna be all right you know me man I followed you in the beginning you cool peoples you cool peoples Sheesh. so the cut it above the barbershop all right, guys, I'm going to end it right there. I think that's a good hour of recording. Um, Wow, that does it for, you know, first video. The start of my 100 daily uploads. I'm going to, this is going to be rough. Also, here's the thing. I'm gonna be doing like it could be you know series gameplay or VR gameplay or even like skits I do like some type of skits you know when I'm in my um, VR you know I sometimes send it to Instagram Twitter make sure to follow me there if you want to see those so if I like end up you know, of course, posting, like, uh, it could be, like, a. Uh, I'll try to make it, like, maybe up to five to ten minutes. <laughs> Sometimes it will be, like, a minute. Who knows? Um, skits, you know. But the important thing is that I post it. And, you know, just to let you know. Stitch is always gonna be here. Cause he's our mascot. And I don't know. He's a hero to me. I always love Stitch. Okay. And in the video. If you like the video, please like the video. <laughs> if you want to, you know. Um, please subscribe for more in the future and always hit the notification bell to know what I'm posting. You're a hero. Everybody can be a hero. I gotta figure out an outro. Peace.